Hey guys, I want to show you how I straighten and clip relaxed hair to for optimum health. This is my little cousin Niasia and she is used to perming her hair. I, this is my first time perming someone's hair. And so I focused a lot on keratin products. I'm showing you the products that I use to um, just strengthen her hair. The, I use the perm shampoo and then this keratin two minute reconstructor and this two step protein treatment to really fortify it after that perm. Next, I use this Mia Rosemary Oil and a few other keratin products just to really fortify this before I started to put heat into her hair. And in this clip, you can just see me combing it through to make sure the product is evenly distributed. Next, I'm starting with the blow dry process. And yeah, the key here, I don't like to over dry the hair. You just wanna get it to the point where it's dry, not really trying to straighten it. That's a key for making sure that your hair remains healthy. And this is how it looks, a lot of split ends and she really wanted it to be like cut even and healthy. This is how it looks with just the trim. I was trimming it as I straightened it in the back and I'm gonna show you how I straightened it later, but I'm just taking a little bit more off to make it even because that's what she wanted. Here I'm showing you my straightening process. I just went back over her hair with the same keratin products as earlier before I did the um, blow drying. Um, just again to lock in that moisture, um, but not going too much to where it was like burning her hair. So I take my comb. We all know like the comb drag method. I've been doing this since I was probably like 11. I also just try to do a once over for each section, making sure not to over straighten or cause any heat damage to her hair. And this is what it looks like before I cut it. Showing you once again, my method for straightening it. Um, her roots were a little bit thicker at the top of her head. So I had to kind of like uh, reinforce it a little bit at the top and then just do my once over and glide the flat iron down. But yeah, it looks really healthy. You can tell it's been taken care of before the heat went into it. And here I show how I cut the front. I am not a professional, especially when it comes to scissors. I'm a, I'm a licensed natural hairstylist, but we don't really cover um, cutting too much, just more so trimming. So I'm kind of just going by what her hair was doing already and just tried to shape it out and it, and it really kind of came out more like a kind of bob situation and she was okay with that I did fix that little piece of the front that was kind of like longer but did my best to make it all even and healthy now I'm going in with a flat iron if you see if you can see below it there are some failed curls that I went in with the wand curler but I realized that her hair was too short for that to really come out right so I did actually fix the two bottom pieces, but I'm just showing you how I curl hair with a flat iron. Um, it can be a frustrating technique trying to curl hair with a flat iron if you're not used to it, but it actually is like probably the best way to curl your hair in my opinion, because the curls come out really crisp and tight and they kind of last a little bit longer. You can let them drop throughout the days. So her hair won't stay tight like this. Um, I just did those tight curls again so that the style could have some longevity and it will evolve over time. But look at that. You can already see that sheen shining. <laughs> you can see the sheen coming out and just the results of us really taking care of that hair prior to the heat and all throughout the process. With keratin products, heat really serves to like bring out, to enforce, to infuse that product into the hair basically. This is the final result. She was pretty happy. She's happy knowing that she has healthier hair and a healthier base to start with. So this is how it came out. Thank you for watching.